name is Bridget and I'm the owner of Vitality Equine and we are here today with Haley Stewart and her amazing equine athletes. Um, so to get started, we are just going to give you a little bit of an intro of what we're going to do today. Uh, Haley's going to share with us some information about her horses. We're going to go through a Vitality Equine assessment and massage with you and give Haley and you some exercises to take home with your horses. We're going to learn today that all horses are individual athletes and need to be treated as such and it's important to uh, maintain their musculature and through body work. Okay, before we get started, we're going to get to know Haley and her horses a little bit more. So Haley, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Sure. Hi, I'm <laughs> Haley. I live in Longview, Alberta and I work for my dad who is a cutting horse trainer. Uh, basically, loping, cleaning stalls and taking care of these horses. I go to school in Mess and Hat to be a elementary school teacher. Awesome. Um, and who are you holding on to right now? <laughs> this eager boy is Pete. Mm -hmm. He is a six-year-old paint horse. Nice. And I use him primarily for ranch work, turning back, and going to the mountains. Perfect. And this is Baba. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about Baba. Oh, He's Bubba. a little more chill than Pete. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bubba is my Prince Charming. Oh. <laughs> He's my barrel horse. Uh, my sister actually takes him and rides him in the hills quite a bit. Awesome. And he's just kind of your true blue, nothing phases him boy. Amazing. So now that you've been introduced to Pete and Bubba, it's time for their massages. Using the power of cinema, we just kind of put together a compilation of the session. But what you should know is that every Vitality Equine Massage starts off with a thorough static and dynamic assessment, followed by a full body massage. You can see in these videos of Pete and Bubba that I am working multiple different areas. The equine athlete is connected from head to toe through their soft tissue and muscular systems. Now that we've finished our massages with Bubba and Pete, I'm going to go over a couple postural preferences and imbalances that I've found within both of these athletes. Don't worry, it's super normal for equine athletes to have these certain imbalances. We ride them every day and we ask a lot of them. So that's why it becomes super important to have an involved body worker to help you help your horse with exercises and stretches after every massage. I'm just going to review a few of the key points that I found um, with Bubba today, uh, just so you have an idea of how every session is individualized and tailored to that athlete. So today with uh, Bubba, the main area of focus that I'd like to focus the massage on is within his shoulder groups and his thoracic sling. So fun fact for everyone, um, our horse's forelimbs are actually not attached uh, via bone to their spine. It's only attached through muscle and tendinous attachments. That means that this entire forelimb is only attached through soft tissue. So soft tissue can, um, can accumulate tension quite readily in the forehand, especially since they spend most of their time leaning in their forehand as well when they're out, in, when they're out grazing in the pasture or in a paddock. So with Bubba today, we definitely noticed some more tension within the base of his neck in here, a little bit of spasming moving in through his pectoral groups here, which is just resulting in less uh, range of motion within his shoulders. One way to really test out the range of motion in your horse is to simply pick up their forelimb as if you're picking out their hoof and asking them to touch their belly. And there you're just testing that carpal range of motion right in through here. Uh, the second area of focus with Bubba today was that I noticed he was showing a little bit more right shoulder tension and as a result there was a slight diagonal where he really did not want to move his left hip forward. So a lot of tension in through this lower back group here and I'd like to focus on that just to allow more balance in the hind end which in turn will provide more strength and power to the front end too to kind of lift that end up and allow for more of the kinetic energy to come from behind and have less weight and less tension accumulation in the front end. 
Awesome, so we already completed Pete's assessment and I'm just gonna go over a couple of areas that I noticed that were a little bit more tense and some postural preferences that he's holding. So he tends to wanna to lean a little bit more into his left shoulder. And when I ask him to lean more into the, his right shoulder, he immediately kind of shifts his weight back to his left. So as I'm doing this, you'll see that he wants to move back into that left shoulder and not really hold the weight in that right foot. So this tells me that he leans a little bit more into his left shoulder. And as I move down his spine, what I've also noticed is that his right hip sits just a little bit higher, which tells me again that his left glute muscles are, are a little bit tighter and kind of bringing his hip downwards. So with Pete, um, as opposed to Bubba, I'm just noticing a little bit more unilateral tension in through his left shoulder and in through his left hip. And that side, he's just holding and carrying a little bit more tension, resulting in it maybe being slightly more difficult or some more resistance to kind of stretch it out and move to the right. But every equine athlete that we work with tends to have a favorite side, and that just is Pete's favorite side. So um, later on, I'll show you some stretches of what you can do to help him with that. We have an idea of what Pete and Bubba's postural preferences are. I'm going to give Haley a couple stretches individualized to her athletes. Okay, so I'm going to give you two stretches that I think would be super beneficial for Bubba. Um, they are centered a little bit more on the front end because this is the area that we kind of focused on in the massage. So um, one is a shoulder stretch that addresses both shoulder tension and pectoral tension. So any barrel horse that's moving around a barrel has to be able to move their forelimbs outwards and inwards when moving and turning. So this stretch is perfect for that because you do both of those uh, motions when you have um, when you have their limbs. So let's give it a go here. Thank you. No, it's all right. I know. So you're going to grab the forelimb. There we go. Hold it like this kind of like an open book, and I'm going to bring this leg outwards while keeping the knees in line. And I'm gonna hold that for about five seconds, and then I'm gonna do the opposite, where I'm gonna ask him to touch his knees, and then I'm gonna release. But you wanna make sure that your horse is at kind of like a 90, de 90 degree angle with their limb, and you're bringing outwards for five, and inwards for five, applying on both sides. That's a really good one I would recommend after, uh, after a run or after a ride because um, it's better if their tissue is warmed up for that one as well. Uh, the second stretch I'll show you is a carrot stretch, although I am carrotless uh, and you don't really need carrots for it. It's a really good neck stretch because what happens with, his, um, with a lot of tension in his shoulder, he tends to build up tension in his lower neck too. So one way to really stretch out the neck muscles and the vertebrae, I'm just gonna grab this from you, is just to stand at their shoulder and gently guide the head this direction. And I'm just gonna keep milking the lead rope. You might move around a little bit. If you have a carrot or a little treat that could intrigue them more, it'll help. Nice. Good job. The one thing to remember with that, you can play around with that, make sure you're gentle, um, is to make sure that their eyes stay level. If Bubba decides to kind of cheat and, and turn his head, he's actually not really stretching those lateral muscles that we want to stretch. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Yay. Right on. So similar to the assessment tool that I use to uh, figure out which shoulder he likes to lean on more and he relies on a little bit more, that can actually be, actually be used as an activation tool as well. Activations are best applied before a ride because it just gets everything moving and gets that nervous system activated. So all you're gonna do is put your hand anywhere along their wither and you're gonna gently pull that wither towards you so that you're shifting their weight over towards you. And as I do this, you'll see a little bit of a shoulder and tricep activation. They might move around a little bit because it feels kind of funny, and that's okay. The more you incorporate it into their routine, the more that you'll see that they get used to it. And I'd recommend doing five to 10 of these on each side before a ride. With Pete, I would especially do it towards his right so that we get a little bit more weight and a little bit more activation in his right shoulder so that, does he, so that he doesn't want to drop into that left shoulder as readily. 
The second activation that I would give for Pete is a tail pull. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand to one side. You're gonna find where his tailbone ends. It ends right here. And you're gonna put your hand just below the tailbone there and you're gonna, you're gonna hold the tail straight back and you're gonna gently pull it back, okay? When I do this, observe his back muscles and also look at his pectoral muscles as I'm doing this. So I'm gonna gently pull back and you're gonna see some activation in his back muscles and in his pectoral muscles. Do you see his pecs activating? I do. That's yeah. weird. All it means is that he's shifting his weight back and forward. I'd recommend applying 10 before and after a ride with Petey and that'll just help develop his top line and, and really get his abdominal muscles also activated. today. It was so much fun hanging out with you and your horses, Haley. Um, as always, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see anything else from us, like if you have any questions or you want to see other videos from us, let us know in the comments below what, you, what you'd like to see. Uh, where can everyone find you? Uh, I'm on Instagram, uh -huh. at Haley Ray Stewart, and also the same for YouTube, Haley Ray Stewart. Awesome. Check her out. Haley is amazing with her horses. She, she is a wonderful horsewoman and everyone should aspire to be like her. So check her out.